I should probably just kill that whole thing, but I'm not going to. Hey, it's been a while since I've talked favorites. <sighs> rusty but we're gonna give this a go it's been a while since I've done any kind of favorites video I think this will be my first empties video so I decided to combine them because the products alone to me don't warrant an individual video they should be merged so that's what we're doing um it's been a while since I've done one of these videos because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup I haven't been using a lot of stuff the little bit of makeup I have been wearing has been from here up I just got off of Beauty No Buy um, from January 1 until April 1. I was on punishment, so to speak. I was on the bench. I was not allowed to buy any makeup products, so that means I'm not buying any. I'm not trying anything. I don't know what's, you know what I mean? So it was hard to accumulate a favorites list during that time frame. I am now off punishment in terms of my Beauty No Buy, but I still have not bought any makeup. I just did, I just did a tutorial on this look, super basic, all drugstore. I just needed to knock the dust off and I'm on a new camera I don't know if you can tell can you tell do I look is it good okay so if you want to see what my favorites and my empties are for the month of March I wanted to go ahead and get this up before we got too far into April we're nearing mid-April if you want to see what I got or no if you just just keep watching I'm rusty I gotta I gotta okay just keep watching thank you I try to get on here and not be such a disaster of epic proportions, but I always am. That's just, that's authentic Shamiriel. Okay, we're gonna try to zoom you in. First up, I mentioned this product in a vlog that I just have, um, the vlog's already out. So if you watch the vlog, then this is not a surprise to you. This is one of those products I owned before, but I forgot how awesome it was until I saw it in action. It's the Farsali Skin Tone Blur perfecting primering uh, let's put the phone on silent it's the Farsali skin tune blur perfecting primer serum and the way I use this is obviously I wash my face I moisturize I put primer on and then I put this on top of my primer so I've already washed moisturized primed and then this and the reason why I realized I love this again is because I had this on under my mask, wore my mask for eight hours throughout my work day, and my skin was not oily. And for those of y'all who don't know, I have combination skin, but a recent visit to the esthetician said that I was, or confirmed, that I am borderline oily. So for this to control my oil throughout the day was like, okay, okay, Farsali, I, f I was sleeping on you, I forgot that you were great. And now I know, again, so we have this little mini, it's a... Uh, 0.34 ounces and once I go through this I'll more than likely get a full size since this controls my oils. The Origins Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment Gel. I also have touched on this in a vlog. I have been wearing this. It's very good for spot treatment. It does dry your pimples up and I actually haven't been using it on the breakouts I have now because I've been using some other things but this has come through for me especially when you have those pimples that kind of have roots not the ones that turn into whiteheads but the ones that just kind of won't like this one here so i need to put some of this on this tonight and get it to reduce the size as you can see hopefully you can see yeah i've been using this and i really like it a lot and it dries clear so you don't have to you know have that gross green or whatever goopy stuff on your face so yes that that one has definitely come through for me on more than one occasion speaking of pimples also shown in a vlog what is this called this is the revive light therapy acne treatment multi-spectrum light i got this where did i get this mm, i got it from my hsa account so 
it's like hsastore.com or is it fsastore.com one of those and i just needed to use some of the money that i had on my flexible spending account or my health savings account again i can't remember which account it is but it's one of those i had some excess funds that i needed to use because as many of you all know if you don't use the amount that's on your card before the end of the year then you're just sol so all that to say i had some money to spend i saw this and i was like man let's give it a go i like this it lights up and then you put it on your skin for um three minutes okay turn off turn off <laughs> you put it on your skin for three minutes okay i'm not about to use you right now oh come on don't embarrass me in front of company don't embarrass me in front of company <sighs> okay now it's off so that happens apparently when you don't need to use it and now you know how you shine something bright in your eye and you blink it yeah that's happening it's battery power which is meh um, but you can use um, a USB cord to charge it as well but I've learned that when I did put it on the charger with no batteries in it it wouldn't run as long so it seems as though it runs longer when it's battery um, operated so yeah turn that on put it on your trouble areas it stays um, on for three minutes and then it automatically turns off. And again, it often it helps with the reduction in the size of your pimples. And I, again, I need to use it on my chin area because that's where I've been breaking out a lot. Okay, it's like I have all these weird segues. Speaking of bumps, <laughs> this is the Flamingo Ingrown Spot Treatment. Now. During quarantine, we're gonna get a little little TMI. During quarantine, I've been using clippers to handle. Yeah, so I've been using clippers, and then I was like, okay, you know, just to trim the hedges. You know, you don't want to let your yard get unruly. You know what I mean? So I've been using clippers, and then I started getting waxes again, and then I realized that I had an ingrown hair from my clippers and I have this I've had this for a while but I haven't had to use it so all that to say I had an ingrown hair and now I do not anymore because this takes care of it it's like pimple cream but for your ingrown hairs I don't know it it dried them out and it went away and it worked very quickly how it says dab a thin layer onto ingrown hairs twice daily and that is what I did and what I also find myself doing is just maybe every couple of days or so I'll just take a thin layer and just rub it on you know the area the outside areas so that it can kind of work as a shield if you will to prevent any other ingrown hairs who are thinking about popping up you know keep them in their place so definitely like the flamingo ingrown spot treatment okay since we're still talking about face stuff now, this has become a recent favorite of mine. It's the Vanity Planet Ultimate, you can't see, Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa Facial Clean, Cleansing System. So it has 360 degree head rotation, dual speed, and three brush heads. So that is one of the things I like about that is that it has three brush heads. The brush head that I currently have on it is the Daily Cleansing Brush. It says ultra soft bristles for every day use every day for a clearer complexion that's still tbd because you know my skin is a mess and it's almost that time of the month so i'm in double trouble then it also comes with the exfoliating brush which has firmer bristles and it says use two to three times a week for an even for an even deeper clean and then it also has a silicone silicone brush uh, gentle bristles used daily great for those with sensitive skin so these are the other two brushes that come in it as well and then that's obviously where the brush goes it automatically comes with the daily cleansing brush on um, attached to it now I love that all of this comes in one set I love that it gives you alternate uh, brush heads to use and you know obviously having then having the brushes in this container keeps them clean and not from getting dust and particles and all that stuff on it so i love that now i will say this one thing that i wish they there are two things that i wish they would improve about this number one is battery operated 
it's battery operated number two it does not have a timer on it so what i found myself doing is usually nine times out of ten whenever i'm getting whenever i'm washing my face be it in the morning or at night i am listening to music so i'll just kind of take a look like okay I'm, you know the songs at two minutes and 30 seconds in i know that at the 3 30 mark i need to stop or i'll just simply ask siri to set a timer for a minute and then i do my thing so you know a lot of other well not a lot but some other brushes will uh, will turn off automatically once it hits that one two minute time limit and this does not so that's just something to keep in mind but i do love that they give you the different options so yes yeah, she has been coming through for me lately okay two more things in terms of favorites i have been loving the elf face erase makeup remover pad so as i've said before i'm not wearing a lot of makeup these days but i have been doing a little something just to kind of keep me alive i don't know and when that happens i will use my neutrogena wipe to get off a majority of the makeup and then for anything that's left especially face wise this thing comes through and so what you do you wet your face with warm or cold water you gently wipe this on your face until all the makeup is removed and it says for heavy makeup hold the face erase on the stubborn parts of your face for a longer period of time to break down the makeup and wipe now i don't let it get to the point where i have again i use my neutrogena wipes and my olay cloths to kind of get the hard stuff in and then this is kind of basically my cleanup so but again i you can definitely see all the stuff that that the other two things didn't get when you go in with this and then you wash it soap and water and then let it air dry and it says it's good for 100 to 200 times it says for best results sanitize the face erase by hand washing after each use with soap and water and to remove all residue machine wash if needed i'm not going to do that <laughs> use 100 to 200 times before replacing and so what i do after i let it air dry i just put it back in here in an attempt to again keep any kind of particles and activity from getting on it okay last but not least in terms of favorites i have been loving this um flat iron lately i follow a page on instagram and the salon while it's here in atlanta that's a whole nother story i've noticed that the stylist uses this particular brand of a flat iron now you know how sometimes you see people use certain products and you're like well their hair looks like that because you're a pro doing their hair i want to see a regular schmegular person doing their hair with that flat iron i didn't get that but i was able to get the flat iron and see so my hair has been and i even had someone tell me after i first gotten this and pressed my hair and they were like did you get your hair done your press looks you know and i was like no i just got a new flat iron and so the flat iron is the h2 pro silk professional ceramic tourmaline styling iron it looks like this and i've just been using it basically ever since i got it and i only press my hair every other week if i'm not wearing my natural curls so this is i mean i was gonna say this is what it looks like but uh ma'am I actually need to wash my hair and I don't think I'm wearing it curly so I'll be busting this bad boy out it goes up to 450 degrees and yeah it's just a really good flat iron in my opinion the only mark I have to give against this is that it does not automatically turn off it has an on on and off switch so you know you have to remember to cut it off I love this I think it's very possible to get similar to salon like results using this so i highly recommend <sighs> okay now we're going to talk empties i'm going to kind of fly through these because as you'll see it's a lot it's a lot of the same stuff i'm just going to reach in here and just pull out what i see these are some cotton rounds from Publix. nothing special nothing to see here i do like them i would buy them again um, these are good backup to my Shiseido ones. Shiseido is my primary brand that I like to use, but I'm not above using Publix brand. So yeah, I like them. This is just some random lotion from Bath and Body Works. It's vanilla chai and biscotti. Y'all know I love vanilla, so that's why I got it. However, the smell is okay. It's just okay. It got to the point where I literally was just using it on my legs until I ran out of it and now I'm out of it. I would not repurchase it, but it served its purpose while it was here 
<laughs> Obviously, you know, I have to buy things to wash clothes with. I'm, I'm not team gain nor team tied. I go back and forth. I like the little pods because it's better than having the liquid. I don't know. Yes, I buy these again. Again, I don't have a preference whether tied or gain, but they're, they're both cool as far as I'm concerned. This is some toner from Lancome that, well, I'm basically out of it. I think I'd buy it again. It's kind of one of those you just kind of use it every now and then and next thing you know it's like, oh, I'm done. But not enough to the point where I can be like, oh my God, you need this in your life. You know what I mean? So there's that. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to wrap this up with candles. I don't know, you know how Bath & Body Works tries to play you. They'll come out with a really awesome candle and then make it seasonal. I'm not sure if that's what this is. If it is, don't judge me, don't be mad. The Chocolate Grams candle by Bath & Body Works. I love this. It smells super good. And yes, I would absolutely definitely buy it again. I kind of almost feel like I should do that thing that you do where you boil out the remaining parts of the candle, but I had a really semi-terrifying experience doing this it's a whole story that I, I, I will have to talk about it later <laughs> next up vanilla snowflake also a bath and body works candle love it i do have bigger sizes the three wick i do have those on deck so yes would definitely buy again oh my nose itches my nose itches okay next up my forever mood candles we got skinny dipped which y'all may or may not know, I did a candle review when I first got them. We got We Not Lincoln. We got Grown Folks Business. And then we have a full size of Hey Big Head. This was one I just got just kind of based off the description on the website. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll like it. I think I did. And as you may or may not know, the minis come in a set of four. I still have one remaining mini that I'm not done with yet. Um, I do like these candles. Grown Folks Business was my favorite, and I do have a full size of that. My only issues are the price, because these candles are hella expensive to me, especially when you know that there are Bath & Body Works type priced candles out there. I'm just saying. Um, and then, and I don't know if this is something that can be helped, but you see how dark <laughs> my, um, how dark it is around the room. What had happened was I noticed that my wick was more so toward this side of the, of the candle. So whenever it would burn, it would burn that. And I was, I would try to push it to, it was just, it was dramatic. So I don't know what can be done. Obviously this one wasn't that bad. I don't know what can be done about centering the wicks. See, see what I mean? It's not in the center. It's more toward the side that has all the burntness. You know what I mean? So that's, that's just me being picky and whatever. But the candles do smell good. I just know that they're very expensive and I had to wait a very long time to get these in because the shipping could be better as well as the customer service in terms of getting back to you when you ask them hey what's up with the thing that I paid for that you haven't sent me I'm just saying it could be a little you know maybe they've improved since then um but that's that's basically it those are my empties and my favorites for March let me know if you have any of these products or you're thinking about getting them and I thank you for taking the time to watch hopefully this helped you to some degree and until my next video I'll see you later Bye.